Toastmasters and most often guests. I want to be a celebrity. I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a doctor. These are just some things which are kids study when they grow up. However, something happens during the time when they grow up which stops them from achieving the goal that they initially set out for. Something happens which stops them from becoming the person that they want to be. And I've identified three things that happens to most of us. And it doesn't help us. And the first one is limitations. And most of the limitations are self-imposed. Not being worthy is one of them. I'm black, I'm white, my nose is stupid. And just silly small things like that stop us from going out there and doing the things that we really want to do. And the second one is the fear of success and failure. What if I become successful and I can't handle it? What if I make too much money and I'm not ready for it? But more commonly, failure. If I don't try, I probably never fail. And saying that, most of us don't even try the things that we want to try. And the third one is just the surroundings. The people that are with us have friends and family and relatives. We let them talk to us. Maybe you shouldn't try that. I don't think you're capable of doing that. And we listen to them. But they don't know us, like we do. We know what it is that we're sent here to do. But we let these people talk us out of what it is that we want to do. So what can we do to overcome these limitations? Well, make them move. Write just a page in a journal. Sing just one song at a time. Send that email you've been holding on to. It was Lao Tzu that said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There was a little girl, just 14 year old. Her name is Laura Decker. She's from Holland. She had a dream of sailing around the world. She was taken to court for that dream. Not by a friend, but by a government, a Holland government. It wasn't just a friend, it was the whole government. How do you, as a 14 year old, challenge the government and take what it is that you really own? But she did it. And she completed her journey until when she turned 19. Second example is Ray Kroc, who was 52, when he had two brothers who, who was running a really successful restaurant. He met them and he decided to take that successful restaurant worldwide, the McDonald's Brothers. Wake up now, took on this restaurant, but he never been in food. So what he did was he overcame one challenge at a time, and now he's running one of the most successful business as we all know it. Like Angela said, he was a fear, and he did anyway. Now, why am I sharing this with this room? This speech was not intended for the Toastmaster audience because we know motivational speeches are often heard in Toastmaster. The speech was intended to go on my YouTube channel. For the last three years, I've been trying to get onto YouTube and share my story with friends that have just finished university with me and you can't get a job, they feel stuck. And I wanted to make this YouTube video for them. So when Tony asked me to come here and give a speech, I thought, what a great honor and opportunity to make the video and finally put it on YouTube so I can talk about it tonight. Half an hour before I left my house, the YouTube clip went online. And now I'm here talking about it. Thank you so much.